Hey, yo, check this out. This is Wayne Wonder, representing for Warwick Hill TV. You see the vision, don't it? See the vision, Warwick Hill TV. Keep it locked. These are the issues that we need to address. We need to address. You understand what I said? You understand what I said? You understand what I said? You see? Set the bar for you, man. For the youth, man. Share, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned to the channel. I don't know your audience. Audience. Well, I don't know if um, I'm just tripping or if I'm stupid or if I uh, like delusional or what it is, but I'm not saying uh, it's simple, but I think that our method has always been the same. Our method has always been waiting for someone to come and fix our problem. Even like in our own country where shit is happening, we're killing it, the, 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 the crime rate is so high in Jamaica, okay? And we sitting down saying the prime minister, the prime minister, and then in our music now, when 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 people are saying uh thing uh, <clears throat> you know it'll take a neighbor, neighborhood watch or you know people coming forward to the police and saying this, but in our music and in our popular popular culture, it say in farmer fi dead, okay. Uh, so man a man don't want to be an in farmer because well in farmer fi dead so can't curb the crime rate because because of that uh then <clears throat> you know I'm, I, I was listening to uh Cutty ranks uh on some interview and he was complaining about the same thing the the same uh Shensia, uh thing and you know they bring up his uh gun tunes and badman tunes that he used to have and he's like that different thing that and me not this and that making excuses where those same tunes like you're saying there's a psychological issue with us or problem or uh with us so when our minds is already warped as it is it doesn't take much to push us over the edge so when we're listening to gun tunes, so keep in mind that in the uh, like 80s and 70s or whatever, man and man start watching cowboy movies and start thinking they're cowboys. They acquire gun and start living like they're at the OK Corral, just shooting each other and going on with foolishness. OK, uh, so now when you have our music now talking about the bad man thing from the gun, no giant church, it no giant service, you know, you know, what I mean, you have a ninja man, 42 you know gun gun and blah 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 okay of course these men th these little push that they get push them over the edge like i said you have that little man on the interview uh one of the things you put up and you know the, the wanted you where him say your man if you dead for man barn you know uh thing uh, where, uh vibes cartel have a song where some man if you dead for man barn you know like all these little things then even in our redemption songs where we're pleading to other people to fix our problem to come in and babylon for stop this and that uh when uh for example the shit happened uh say mostly uh i'm gonna say in the u.s when a when a, a white man a white policeman kill a black man we go out there and we protest and we march and you know all these stuff for them to create the changes in our community and stuff like that but when you go to a thing uh, another black man and say yo we got to stop selling drugs to each other we got to stop killing each other well y'all gotta eat i gotta you know i gotta survive or a uh, thing uh, it's do or die uh, uh, a nigga's gonna kill me if i don't kill a nigga i go in there uh you talk about the post-war in uh thing uh england in uh in the u.s these guys were fighting over city blocks one bl a block away from each other these guys live and because you live on avenue uh, h and i live on avenue i i can't like i can't cross over you know what i'm saying or us yo man a man getting shot different hood kind of you know what i mean all these things we have to realize what we as a people are doing and start thinking vertical okay or i'm sorry horizontal i mean <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. And start thinking vertical, rising. You know what I mean? Or is uh, you know what I mean, getting up there. You know what I mean? Uh, but when we're thinking uh horizontal, we take on so much problems, so much other problem, and not focus on us. When we could find the necessary excuse for why we're not where we are and not seeing how we're contributing to those excuses, then there'll always be an excuse. Always. We could say to what well, we could say about the Jews, we could say about the Chinese, we could say about the 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 the, the, the South Asian, East Asians, uh whomever for them problem different from food problem, you know, so this and that, blah 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 blah. And we could just say, you know, we not try what them do because for them situation different from food situation. But to me, yo, that always sounds like an excuse not to try. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to try to jump over there because he could jump higher than me. So that's why he made it over there. You know what I mean? I'm not going to play basketball because he's better than me. So if I play with him, I'm going to be embarrassed. Everybody has to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It's it's. I know the psychological game that is played. Okay? I know what they put on TV. I know the isms that they used to perpetuate. The psychological game but every time I, I tell you every time you have a black leader that come out and start pe- speaking pragmatically that's what the people say that's not gonna work or oh, he's he's crazy he's that he's that you know marcus garvey the same thing uh malcolm x the same thing uh you have this other guy uh, i think i sent you a thing uh dr uh claude something you know, same pe he's crazy. What how how's that gonna work? How, every time we have someone that come out and speak pragmatically as to how we could go about solving and working our issues, that's always the thing. No man, that can't work. No man, that crazy. But we've never tried it. Ne- we just uh, right off the bat, no, that's not gonna work. And we keep trying the same thing over and over and over, even though it's never worked from decades, from time, it hasn't worked. We keep trying it over and over again and say, free situation different. So we have to keep trying this. We have to do that. We do, We have to do that. And even though, like I said, it hasn't worked, we still stuck on it. And then when the other man come with something else, we said, no, man, that man, that crazy. Where my top boy? That not gonna work. A foolishness that sometimes we even kill him or her. Sometimes we call them sellout. Like I said, the, the thing, uh, that man uh, at our thing, uh, Aretha Franklin's funeral, a man say was a pastor. The man say, yo, black, black lives won't matter, can never matter, will never matter. Some shit like that. I'm paraphrasing. Until. It start mattering to black people. Yo, they come out. I mean, there's a Uncle Tom. He's a sellout and this and that. But it is the truth because until we start setting the value on our lives, like I said, you don't go to the supermarket and set the price. The supermarket set the price and you go there and pay what they think, what they set there. Okay. So until we start setting the value on our lives, until we start meeting and start saying to ourselves, what is going on? Why are we doing this? Until we start promoting so-called infamas to come out and say things. You know what I'm saying? Our police force, even in our own countries, are corrupt, corrupted. Even in Africa with people who's never been descendant who are not descendants of slaves yeah i know they were colonized but there was a lot of other people who were colonized too you know i'm saying but we're gonna say well they weren't colonized like we were you know i'm saying so it's like we keep finding a reason not to and i noticed even uh even in one of your i think it was one of your video you talk about uh i think it was the the one with the uh, the lawyer business you talk about our entertainers even our entertainers exploit us. They come, they see the struggle in our community. They use those struggle to write music and exploit us. Make money and don't come back to the community and do nothing. They come and run a boat, smoke a spliff with you. 
and give you a twenty dollar and man a man say yo man like cutty ranking sit down the man they cool man the man they you know what i mean because they come and run a boat with you and smoke a spliff okay you have a thing uh cutty ranks in his interview to explain away his uh thing uh uh thing uh uh violent music or gun tune him say yo me, me just a write about me a sing about wagwan i'm me, me just a tell story about wagwan he don't realize that even though that's what he's doing he's still perpetuating negativity he's still perpetuating the violence he's still perpetuating the killing he's still perpetuate the mindset of gangsta and streets and that we have to behave that way you know what I'm saying? So, to a certain extent, we can make as much excuses as we want about our situation. We can say them people, they're different. That people, different. And blah, 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 blah. Okay? But the thing is, yo, <clears throat> until we try something different, we'll be in the same position. Okay? Uh, and I, I really... Really, I understand the extent of their oppression or the extent of whatever was was a thing uh, was somewhat different. OK, but one of the most things that these people have more than anything else is unity amongst each other. OK, one of the most things that the Jews have, the uh, thing, uh, the uh, South Asians, the East Asians and so on and so forth is unity ag uh, amongst each other. You talk about a uh, thing, uh, the Chinese that got shot in Jamaica, okay? And how even black people came out to make sure that the crime was solved. A black man without even thinking could add more value to a, a white person's life, a Chinese person life, a, a Indian person life more than he adds to his own life. And that's because that value has not been, that the, the the idea of having that value in their lives is not taught to them the the, the gunman them and stuff like that in whether it's in jamaica africa trinidad canada america could kill each other or people that look like them without a second thought because there's no value on our lives in jamaica they said a white man could walk pretty much anywhere in jamaica and he's fine because instinctively the black man put so much value on their lives that just by without even thinking about it, he know if he pulled that trigger, all the shit that's going to happen. How do we teach? And like I said, if we had the Marcus Garvey philosophy and, and opinions of Marcus Garvey in school that instill a certain level of black value in our people. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying? At least they might pick up on something. But when we're going to find every excuse not to do that, not to do this, not to not, 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 not. Because we're going to say those people had it easier than us. Those people were helped by that. Those people, we helped the Jews. We helped the Chinese. We helped the, the, the South. We helped everybody piggybacked on our movement and when they see that our movement is not going any place else they jump off and kept going you look at canadian i uh, think uh black struggle or american black struggle everybody piggybacked on our movement you know you talk about i uh, think uh jamaicans free or help the free south africa you know what i'm saying so we, we so we 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 do that but then when people get to a certain level they're like okay where are we gonna go from here and they move because we're not going anywhere from here so and, and, and one of the, my point in that too is that we take on everybody else's struggle and not focus on us when you can say those people see value in uh, the gays or the jews or whatever like i said I uh, think uh, their uh, thing, uh, their struggle is vertical. They fate, they look to go straight up. They're not looking at anybody else and trying to save anyone else. They're saving themselves and they're going up. Okay, they're saving themselves and they're going up. 
we on the way up we see somebody over there we're running over this oh let me give you a hand oh let me do this for you let me do this and then before we know it everybody use us as a ladder and they're gone up we need to be more vertical focus on us and that's what i'm saying when shit happen black people need to come together and say what are we doing wrong let's focus on us let's do this we need to promote more togetherness what the fuck is up with a a a a, a, a post war uh a, 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 a block war bloods and crips uh the, all these foolish uh thing uh posses and all that stuff among us sometimes yo i feel like we have this childlike uh thing uh mentality we can't mature from from my thing uh uh thing uh childhood to adulthood we have this childlike way of seeing the world of doing things and we do it over and over again so really and truly I do understand the extent of what we went through. But when we reject everybody that says, yo, we have to try this and we keep saying, no, 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 we just reject them because of whatever. We don't try it. We just reject them. Then, Rudy, we stuck in the same position because we're doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And then we find excuse, them people, they're different, them this and that. Yeah, they different. They different. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't mean that we can't use either, even if it's elements from their method to get somewhere. I don't believe that we can't use elements from their thing. I, I used to think a certain way yo, until I started going to school. And I start reading their textbook and seeing how they do things, the psychological games they play, the fact that they're fully aware of what's going on in society, the fact that certain things are put in place to keep certain things a certain way. And after I read their books, their textbooks, you know, I I, I, I did their uh, thing. I, like I said, I did I did sociology and I read, you know, what I mean, uh, the the, the uh, social function, functional uh, social function theory, like, you know, the, just the way society function, the things that they put in way for us in place for certain things to happen, function a certain way, you know, like I could like. like I could rant on forever, son. Like I said, I used to think a certain way, yo, until I read their books. Then I start reading other books that they have out there. Like I said, you could tell the tell the uh, thing, uh, you, uh, the, uh, the 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 on the savannah. You could tell the, the gazelle to keep reading the book written by a gazelle about the lion for as much as you want, but the lion will keep getting him because he just never understand things from the lion's perspective. OK, but like I said, yo, I remember listening to that Tupac song change. And I think every time I talk to not every time, but most time I talk to uh, some black people, yo, the excuses just remind me of that di dialogue that I, uh, they were having in that song. And in the end, you know, when the man keep coming up with excuses, excuses in the end, Tupac was like, hey. I guess that's just the way it is then. So until we start killing those excuses, then that's just the way it is. We're just going to have to live with it. That's just how it is. It's never going to change. There's no changes. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, yo, we explored ourselves so much. And we don't realize that, son. We think it's them when it's mostly us. It's them holding us down when it's mostly us. They put a man in place to hold us down. You know what I mean? You said it in your video, yo. Sometimes the greatest enemy of the black man is the black man. Marcus Garvey said the same thing. Yo, that's just like my view, yo. We could keep making excuses, yo. I I've seen people with substance abuse, people with uh, who's been through uh, abuse in their family, and they keep saying, yo, well, my mom did this, and my dad did this, and if it wasn't for my mom, and then there's people who's been through it, 
who says, I'm not going to let the past dictate my future. I'm going to step up. I'm going to get whatever necessary help I need to step up. But we could let the past dictate our future forever, son. And we could keep coming up with the excuses as much as we want, yo. If that's how it is, then that's how it is. Blessings, yo. But I don't know if um, I'm just tripping or if I'm stupid or if uh, like delusional or what it is. But 